Hi, brethren. I am Sarah, and I am 10 years old. I was baptized September 25th, 2010 at 6 o'clock p.m. I learned many things about the Lord, and a thing that I kept was that you have to make the right decisions in the kingdom of God. Here are some decisions I have made upon the Lord. I have decided of living with my grandparents to go to church for the Lord, and not my mother because she is not in the Lord and made choices that are not right. I, made a, I have made the decision to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. I have decided to speak about the Lord to others. It is hard in the kingdom, but the Lord will help us to go through it to make it. Gifts of God can help us also in this by using them. And everyone has a gift from him. That is why if he gives us a gift, we use it for him. All things are the Lord's because he made them. The gifts are his and he can keep them for himself. But he is a good God and he is giving them to his people. The Lord is not selfish in his ways. Work for him and he will bless you in all his ways. I know that I love the Lord first and I do things for him. And he will bless me for what I've done for him. You, brethren, have done this too. We should be in the Lord and do all things unto him. He will give us a prize at the end. It will be worth it all. Be thankful for what he has given us and what he has promised to give us. I am glad the Lord has made me able to make right choices and that I was able to do this testimony. I pray that the Lord will bless my grandparents for doing things right for me. Some of you, brethren, have made choices that are right also, like you had to let the world go and go with the Lord. Some of your family members are not in the Lord, and you have left them too. I have a couple scriptures to read in what I am talking about. John 15, 16, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Isaiah 7, 15. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Revelation 17, 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and king of kings, and they that are with him are called chosen and faithful. John 16:33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you have, so, have true relation. Be be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We have a great Lord of lords and king of kings. I hope all of these things I have spoken unto you will be a great blessing and will encourage you, brethren. The Lord has done many things for me, and I am blessed by it. I love to come to the renewal and see our brethren and to fellowship and speak with them. And brethren, someday we'll we see each other up in heaven with God. I hope the Lord will bless this time with you, brethren, and be with us all and hear our word. So I would like to close with this scripture, Luke 8, 15. But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Thank you, brethren.